system with no existing or issued employee number. Voice stress pattern within normal parameters. Executive override protocol initiated. What may I do for you on this wonderfully productive day? Oh, and this facility is a stunning accomplishment by the creative minds at the Nuka-Cola Corporation. We use cutting-edge equipment to keep the world's most popular soft drink in full production, 24 hours a day. This unit prides itself on over 457 days without a single death or major limb loss of any personnel. 
This product is the pinnacle of taste sensation. 17 fruit flavors and that signature cola taste blend to form the perfect refreshing soft drink. With its new strontium additive, it's got that unique kick to keep you on your toes. That information is in the shipping computer terminal. The passcode for the terminal is NCC1864. Certainly, allow me to whip up a copy for you. There you are. Have a wonderful and productive day. Have a wonderful and productive day. Welcome to the Capital Preservation Society. I'm expecting great things from you. Well, yes. Any document of historical significance would be a benefit to the society. However, I am also interested in branching out. Perhaps some interesting artifacts related to our great country's history. Be sure and bring me anything you find along those lines. I'd be happy to compensate you once again. Please ask them. After all, knowledge is power. Well, um, this is quite embarrassing, actually. I sent someone like yourself after the declaration. She did some of the research for me, but now I haven't seen her in a few months. I wouldn't worry about it. Many have died for causes far less grand than what you're about to undertake. A piece of what was called parchment, sort of a thick paper, has faded handwritten writing all over it. It's no more than two and a half feet tall and two feet wide. If you find it, you should be able to roll it up carefully. On July the 4th in 1776, a group calling themselves the Second Judgmental Congress got together at Fort McHarry in Maryland. After a ceremony which ended with Paul Revere singing the famous battle hymn known as the National Anthem, the document was signed. From there, it was sent to England by plane, presumably, and presented to King George himself. Thus began the Evolutionary War. Certainly. In the DC ruins, you'll find the National Archives, or what's left of it anyway. The building should contain the document in a protective glass case. Be careful. The place is swarming with super mutants. Here, let me pinpoint its location for you. I hope next time I see you, the declaration will be in hand.
Watch out for the mine. Quick, they're coming. You made enough noise coming in here to wake the dead, for God's sakes. Just be ready. The muties are coming. to what you're doing. Whew. Say, you're pretty decent in a firefight. Well, with what I do for a living, you need to be. Sorry, I'm being a complete asshole. I'm Sydney. It's good to meet a fellow relic hunter. Come on. You and I both know this is where the Declaration of Independence is stashed. No need to be coy about it. Good old Abraham Washington sent you on the same suicide mission he sent me on. Only problem is, you're not going to get it without my help. Simple. We pool our resources, grab the declaration, then make for Rivet City and split the reward. I've studied the plans of this place, so without me, you are going to go in circles. What do you say? Smart move. Okay. The declaration is secured in the Archive's strong room underground. There's a concealed cargo lift right here in the center of the rotunda. I've spent a few days hacking the lock with my remote terminal. When you're ready, punch in the password. And let's get going. There's a cargo lift right here in the rotunda. It should take us directly down to the lower levels. I was hacking the system right before we were attacked. The code should be, we the people. All I know is that it looks like a rolled up piece of thick paper with all kinds of writing on it. Some famous document from a long time ago. Abraham Washington is a huge US history nut. So that's why he wants it so badly. Ha, <laughs> I'm surprised that you care. Usually everyone looks out for themselves nowadays. What is it you want to know? I don't know. I grew up like pretty much every other girl in this crappy world. Spent most of my life just trying to keep away from slavers. One day out in the wastes, I stumbled across some poor bastard's body. On the body, I found info leading to some famous document. I had heard that Abraham Washington was looking for these scraps of paper. So I went after the thing. Turned out to be the Constitution. After he loaded me up with caps, I got pissed drunk, got laid, and was happy for the first time in a while. I haven't looked back since. Oh no. There is more than a lifetime supply of grade-A crap in that place. Couldn't possibly do it alone. Like you, he hires anyone off the street. Honestly, I don't care what he does with that stuff. As long as the caps keep flowing, I'll be there to collect. Yeah, it is nice. I don't even sleep without it under my pillow. My father made gun ammunition for a living. Taught me everything about how firearms work. So, I've spent my downtime tinkering with guns like my 10mm Ultra SMG here. It's like a hobby, I guess. Sorry, there's some things I still want to keep to myself. Maybe when I get to trust you better. Okay. Nope, I'm fine. I got your back. Men, to 
Today I address you with a message of utmost urgency. They kept the decoration in the archive stronghold that's at the end of the east wing. The we'll have to make our way Men, to it. We can't let the enemy's progress There's all sorts of shortcuts through maintenance us. doors and we utility gates to bypass security. If you can get through them. That's it. That's it. our defenses, evaded our best soldiers, and you've raided my home. But I have not yet begun to fight. I cannot allow you to steal our freedom. The declaration must remain here. It is our symbol of hope, the one thing that cries out we are a free nation. Then my reputation precedes me. Good. That should make you well aware that I am not to be trifled with, and that my loyalty to the States is legendary. I know your fighting prowess far exceeds my own, but I will still duel you to the death if I must. What will it be, then? Rapiers? Pistols at dawn? Out with it! This is no mere document, sir. This is the doctrine laid down by my fellow members of the Second Continental Congress. It absolves us of the tyranny of King George III of Great Britain. It is perhaps the greatest symbol of this free nation. Broken promises and deceit may be the way of Great Britain's crown, but I will not succumb to such tomfoolery. Since it appears you wish to resolve this without bloodshed, may I suggest you stand down and surrender? I can promise that you will be treated well, in a manner accustomed to any member of the Royal Army. Please explain, but I warn you, I am well versed on the tactics of the underhanded Redcoat spy. You do well to remember that. Saints alive! It is both an honor and a privilege, sir. I was hoping this day would arrive. I hope these fortifications are up to your high standards, sir. All of my men await your command to push and retake the capital. May I ask where you intend to bring the document? A new president. So the stars and stripes truly are forever. All hail the red, white, and blue. Does... Does this mean the war is over? Have we won? It's over? Amen to that. Then I suppose my posting here at the fort is complete. I think you said it best when you said, We in America do not have government by the majority. We have government by the majority who participate. It has been both an honor and a privilege to serve in the army of the United States. What are your final orders? Coming from you, that means all the world to me. It's been an honor and a privilege to serve my country. It's time for me to take a long needed rest. I think you'll find that the rest of my men are long due for the same. I hereby relinquish command and control of this fortification to you. Good luck to you, Mr. Jefferson. And give Sally my regards. Good to have you back. What wonderful artifacts have you brought me? Oh my! I never expected anyone to find this. I didn't even know it was still intact. Well, certainly a reward is in order for your efforts. How about 100 caps? Thank you very much. Oh, my lord. I never expect... I mean, I'm utterly shocked. You two have earned your places in the annals of American history. Yes, indeed. You will be remembered for this great day.
I will award Sydney's promised bounty to her personally. No need to worry yourself about that. Enjoy your reward, my friend. You've earned it. What brings you by Rivet City today? Well, I suppose that's goodbye then. Come again anytime. What's up? What's up? I thought he was the best. My mom was long gone, so all we had was each other. He used to call me his little moonbeam. <laughs> How sappy is that? But when I was 14, he vanished and left me all alone. Never even said goodbye. I cried for a week. Do I have to tell you what it's like for a young woman alone in the wasteland at that age? I don't know where he went, and I don't care. I just hope he got what he deserved, the son of a bitch. What? Oh, oh my god. That's his voice. It's really him. I, I can't believe you brought this to me. Oh, I don't know what to say, but thank you. Wait. Here, take my 10 millimeter Ultra SMG. It's never let me down. Besides, I won't really need it anymore. Huh, I'm surprised that you care. Usually everyone looks out for themselves nowadays. What is it you want to know? Well... Now that we brought back the declaration, I think I'll take my cut of the earnings and head out to get drunk. Look me up in the underworld if you ever need me. I usually hang there since ghouls don't hit on me all the time. You know, I think I've had my fill of wasteland roaming and picking through ruined buildings for a while. I'm just gonna kick back and spend my caps. But thanks for asking. Later. Nothing beats a taste, the taste that'll knock you out. Please, tell me you have some of the good stuff. I need that quantum. Nope, sorry. Well, to the east, there are some nasty raiders in Evergreen Mills. I'd stay away from there if I were you. Luckily, we're kind of hidden here under the old highway, so no one bothers us. Well, besides what I've already told you, not much. They were working on a way to prevent the glow from remaining once it passed through a person's system, but it was never perfected. I heard that the stuff they use to make it glow and give it that kick has a shelf life of over a thousand years. Should make the bottles easier to spot. Well, the bottles are glass, just like regular Nuka-Cola, except the glass is clear. That way, the glowy stuff inside shows through. You'll know it when you see it. Oh my! It's like a tidal wave of flavor washing all over your body! Your head spins, but everything is clear at the same time! It's quite a rush! <laughs> Addicted? Why would you say that? I can stop drinking it any time I want. That's so silly to think I would get hooked on the most delicious soft drink ever devised by man. Okay, shoot. In fact, I do. <laughs> Surprised you, didn't I? Your best bet would be to find the ruins of the DC Nuka-Cola bottling facility. Find the shipping manifests inside. With them in hand, you should have a good clue as to where the quantum was delivered. While you're there, you may even be able to find some bottles of quantum. He has? Oh, that's sweetheart. I knew he'd help me. All that guy does is watch out for me all the time. That's so silly. Why would a man want to wear a pair of these filthy woman's pants? Doesn't make sense. I bet you and him cooked up that line just to make me smile. <laughs> well, mission accomplished. 
you've done it. My machine is finally full. Well, like I promised, here's your surprise. The schematic for the Nuka Grenade. You've sure earned it. If you find any more bottles, be sure and bring them by. I'll be glad to keep paying for them. Yay, you're back! Well, the stuff is so rare, I only know one. It's called Mississippi Quantum Pie. It's delicious. If you want me to make you one, I can. Just bring me some flour, vodka, and a Nuka-Cola Quantum. I can whip it up in no time. Oh no, he's such a cutie pie. He never bothers me. Be careful out there, sweetie. Huh?